Our first guests tonight are multi-talented, multi-hyphenate stars with a whole laboratory full of chemistry. Season one of their show, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, is on Prime Video now. Say hello to Donald Glover and Maya Erskine. <laughs> Now, I'm told one of you is pregnant. Yes, Donald. Uh, <laughs> it's, um, I'm coming along. I'm coming along. I'm, uh, I thought I'd bust out the suit for it. Congratulations, no. Thank by you. the way. That's great. That's Thank terrific. You. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. you, have, you have a kid already, right? I do, this will yes. Be number two for you, yes. Two. Donald, yeah. how many children do you have? Three. Three kids? Yeah. You have all. Boys? Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna steal this girl. Oh, that's you're what gonna? He said to that's me. what I yeah. tell her. Tell, when, I was so upset when she told me. I was like, "Wow, you yeah. got, you got, you did it. You got both." And yeah. I'm here, like, just broken up. They know us by first name at the ER. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't it? Uh, why wouldn't you give Donald your baby? I mean, it, it seems Look, like a we, nice thing to do. I might. I just. It, it is the weirdest thing because most people are like, "Oh, congratulations!" Like, "Oh my God, a boy and a girl!" And his literal first sentence to me was, "I'm gonna steal your baby." Like, that was <laughs> the first thing you said to me. <laughs> your show, by the way, uh, it's so good. It's really great. It's based on the movie Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie starred in yeah. uh, during happier times, and. Um, <laughs> And this, do you, by the way, I assume going into it, you didn't mind being compared to Brad and Angelina because uh, that was gonna happen. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, it's pretty, I mean, like, we're kind of exactly like them, yeah. right? <laughs> exactly <laughs> like them. The only thing, I mean, like, there's like a sex scene in the, the show that I like hate just because of my feet. Really? He's very self conscious of his feet. They look like two yeah. irons. <laughs> I hate them. Are they pointy at the top like an iron? <laughs> <laughs> They're gross. No, you th there's nothing. It's just weird because it, there's a close-up of his feet during a sex scene. And I'm like, and why'd you like... do that, hero? You're supposed to be my friend. <laughs> I was just like, I was like, yeah, that's the only thing where I was like, oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna beat Brad Pitt because of these ugly feet. Have you seen Brad's feet though? I mean, I've never. I'm, I'm sure his feet look amazing. Yeah, they probably <laughs> do. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, they look good. Now I'm dying to see your feet. I don't know what, what no, it yeah, is. No, I know. It's, please don't do it. No. <laughs> like, please you, don't do that. You make fun of my feet because my like because we would do a lot of intimate scenes and I have like dinosaur feet. There's a lot of scales on the on the back and he when I would touch him he'd be ah why are you cutting me? Well, I would pretend really? like she cut my calves open. I'd be like I'm bleeding out like kind of thing. It was fun. We, yeah. we kind of ribbed you. It was you guys sexy, seem yeah. very, um, you seem to really get along. I would assume that that's the case. And if it wasn't, you probably wouldn't tell us. But it does seem to be a real <laughs> affection going on here, yes? I don't know. I feel like yeah. I, she gets mad. At me. Well, no, you're like, he's like my older brother, and that's the dynamic. Like, he makes fun of me a lot on set. And that's where. She had this hair. Let's, like, let's, let's, oh, she hold had on. this hair. That, like, she got really mad at me, right? I'm like, I'm seeing her get her hair done, and she, there's this yeah. white hair that came no, out no, of her. No, no, no. Don't, was you're, super if you're long, gonna tell it, tell it, it right. Pull out of her cheek. No, I was no. like, did Stop. you have a white six foot, <laughs> like, hair coming out of your face? I don't face? like that he's telling it. For, let me tell my side of the story because okay. I was my, in the fifth episode, if you watched it, my hair is like glued down like a helmet. And basically, like, the glue, like, the gel got another stray hair just happened to be right here. And when he was doing touch-ups, he went like that. And Donald was like, what the, did you just pluck a long gray hair out? And I was like, no, 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 it's hair that I, moved I to know my what forehead. I, saw. <laughs> I know what I saw. We fought about it for five hours and that was our biggest fight. But that's really, our she fight. was really yeah. mad at me, like really? What were you yeah. mad that he didn't that he didn't know that, that he didn't believe me that I'm like this isn't she's I don't mad that have I saw her witch, wi her, her witch hair I don't have whiskers like, growing like, <laughs> out of my forehead like that you think whiskers grow here like it doesn't make sense well yeah that's I think what he was saying it doesn't make <laughs> any right. sense my you put your mom in Pen Fifteen your yes. show which is another great show and that was. <laughs> That was something that she was um, enthusiastic about? I mean, 
yes, I had to put her through a rigorous audition process to get the part, but yeah, she was. Were there other moms that auditioned for that part? Yes. Or was it just her? It was other moms in the beginning, but a lot of them would cancel their audition as soon as they read the sides, because it was like, you know, about like a 13-year-old they were like, well, I don't want to be a part of this. And oh. so we had no choices, really. And right. then my mom was like, I was like, I think she would be authentic. Let's try it. And it was like 50 takes later, I think we got, you know, a good audition. <laughs> you got what you needed? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Donald, you put your mom in this show. Yeah, she talked me into it. She was like, I think, you know, Francesca, who also, like, you know, created the show, like, she, she was like, I think she would be great, you know. And I brought her, I, 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 I kind of left her... I, I didn't do any prep for her. I like gave her the sides. I was like, here you go, see you on Monday, like kind of. And she, she was killed. Great. She was really great. She like, had never done any acting before? Never done any acting before. Mm -hmm. But she was killer. She like really killed the role. Like okay. I was really happy about that. She, really surprised. She was fine with the lines that she had to deliver? She was fine. She didn't like have it. There was not, there was like, I mean, like the baby like story that she tells is kind of me. Uh -huh. So I feel like she was very very good at embarrassing me. Like, you know, mm -hmm. she like, so like, she was like, oh, that's easy. And all the other stuff, she just kind of like filled in and improv. So it was really great. She really was so good. Really sweet. Now season one ended. I just want to just say to people who just started watching the show, um, that just turn off the TV right now. Just turn it off for, <laughs> and you can come back in like three minutes or something like that. But um, I don't want to ruin anything for anybody, okay? So I'm going to just preface it with that. Okay. But there's a cliffhanger at the end of the first season. And um, we have a clip of the ending, and I'd like to uh, show that. You just stay there, you breathe, and I'll shoot her and we'll get out. Is that a good plan? Yeah? You okay? Yeah. Count of three. Okay, I'm gonna do it and we're gonna get out of here. Ten scene to show everybody out of context. <laughs> and now a lot of, well, I don't know what p many people think that um, you were killed. I mean, you had one bullet, right? And we saw three flashes there. And then we see this in, um, in I think, Variety Magazine says right. that you will not, it's renewed, but you will not, ex are not expected to return to the show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How yeah. would they do Mr. and Mrs. Smith without Mr. and Mrs. Smith. You know, I don't know. I feel like everybody wants, it's like Christmas where the kid, like it's like November 28th. Yeah. And the kids know there's a Christmas present. Mm -hmm. that, and, they're, and they're like, mom, where's the Christmas present? Because we work really hard on that. No, it's not like, like that. Thing. Here's what it is. It's well, like it's November 28th and the kids don't know Santa's even coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's but, like. But if you tell them, like, yes, Santa, like, he, here's the, here's what it is, you, you might ruin Christmas. It's ruin, yeah. Yeah, it's, you might ruin the feeling Telling of Christmas. kids Santa's coming would ruin Christmas? <laughs> we grew up in very different houses. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. See, I'm just realizing that, oh my God. <laughs> like, yeah. So you can't say, you won't say. Yeah, I we'll just like, keep our fingers. It'll be more fun if you see the second season. You know, you want to wait. Not yeah. if you're not in it, it won't be fun. I It'll mean, be the opposite of fun. Who says we're not in it? Maybe we are, maybe, <laughs> maybe we, we are. are. Maybe we Variety are. Variety Magazine says you're not in it. He has right. Oh, sources. that's a tabloid. They're <laughs> <laughs> not credible. Okay, all right. Well, we'll just keep our fingers crossed. Well, in, in, in any event, you guys did a an absolutely fantastic job with the yeah. show. It's called Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It is on Prime Video now. Watch it from the beginning to the end. We don't know. Donald Glover and Maya Erskine, everybody. Thanks for being with us. We'll be back with Jesse Clemens.